All right, so we placed a number of files inside of this little folder, and we have uh, one shape here, as you can see. Well, there's a couple of things that we can do to continue making this look a little bit better. For example, I'm going to just click on a different color, and I will click on a different shape. So I'll just make a, another one by clicking here, and you'll notice I'll make another triangle, uh, excuse me, rectangle, a little bit like this and perhaps I'll take yet another color here maybe just a gray of some kind and I can create a third object and allow that to be the gray color that I wanted now again don't get confused with anything I did with these layers because we'll be talking about these vector shapes a little bit later so notice I have these three shapes that are you know can be moved around and they're separate items however perhaps what we can do to make these more manageable is to put them inside of their own folder this little group area here so I'm gonna expand this just by clicking down here I'm gonna double click on this group and I'm gonna call it um, well let's say uh, squares well they're not really all squares, so uh, let's just say boxes and I'll drag these particular files inside there we really should rename these if I was working a little bit easier and rather a little bit more organized I'd be renaming these elements so now that the, all these elements are named you'll notice if I expand or collapse any one of these we can move them continuously in this fashion if I wanted to since I have two groups I can move one group and the other group independently of each other because we can set the auto select to group or to layer so that's a little bit about how things will work but let me show you a little something else what we can also do is to organize these layers by color coding so for example if I wanted to I could select the posters group and double click it now you could do this just by selecting a particular layer and double clicking it as well and you'll see here it says layer style right and if I wanted to just double clicking that it says layer style continuously now if you were to press option and click on that notice you can rename it here but it also gives you the layer properties window so you can right click something and say layer properties or right click on the group and say group properties and that shows you a little bit about that as well so double clicking it does it for the group option clicking it does it for the layer properties of that layer as well now here's what I want to show you if I double click on the group and go to the group properties it's got the name posters that's fine we can also color code these layers for example I could say hey look make everything inside here be um, perhaps blue alright and let's see what's going on well you'll notice that that icon is blue and when I open this up everything in this particular group happens to be blue as well if I double click the boxes and let's say hey uh, let's make everything in here red take note if I open up that one now you'll see that everything inside here happens to be red as opposed to blue so that's a really nice and easy way that you can keep everything organized if I were to double click the background layer it says well you can't edit it because it's locked okay so let's double click it without it being locked and that's not what I want so I'm gonna option double click it to get the layer properties for this and for example I could say hey make it gray and you can see that that's gray as well for the background now I'll select it and lock it as well so look we've got nice color coding going on here if I want to I can select things individually like we said or select them as a group and to move things around very easy to do look I'll put everything inside of this group underneath the poster layer just by dragging it underneath it like that so all the posters are on top of the boxes now or all the boxes can be placed inside of the poster layer but we don't really want to do that notice the indentation here um, so to take something out of it just drag it and you'll see until you get to the point where it's a line outside of that box and then you'll see that's where it works so if you go right on top of the box 
it's going to, or the group, excuse me, it's going to go inside that group. You don't want that. So I'm just going to drag it outside of that group by placing it right all the way at the top. So remember, coming over here, you'll notice, don't put it on top, but rather until you see the line in between those two. And that will allow you to move and reshuffle around the stacking order of these elements, as well as I've shown you how to color those elements with the color coding of the particular layer or group item.